Today I'm going to talk about a couple of things I left out recently in a video where I was sharing some tips on hooping, uh, hooping beanies specifically. And the first thing I'll tell you that I left out was that I had removed the guides that go on the Mighty Hoop fixture. I had removed those because I was doing a lot of jackets and when you do jackets it's miserable trying to fit the bottom of the jacket underneath this guide. So I took these off and I had forgotten about that and in the video I didn't have those on. And it makes it a lot easier when you're doing a lot of items. Almost any item except a jacket, it's nice to have this guide on there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you hooping another beanie with the guide on there just so you can see the difference. And one thing about my fixture is that I've used it quite a bit and the guides have settled down a little, but when you first buy it, if you sit the hoop on here, it's not going to just automatically fall and attach itself to the other hoop. You'll see what I mean in a minute. All right, also, I think I'll go ahead and just use cutaway today. This is eight by eight inches and it's two and a half ounce cutaway that I get from All Stitch. And we'll go ahead and put that on. And also my piece of cardboard. I like to use that piece of cardboard because it just makes it nice and flush when I'm trying to smooth out the beanie once I have it on there. Okay, so I've got my piece of cutaway on there. Here's my beanie, I've already got it turned inside out and I like to have the tag on the back if it has a tag. And I'm just trying to line up center to center here using the center on the beanie as my guide. And there's a center line on my hoop fixture here. So we're just using that, line both of those up with each other. Get my ruler for getting some distance and just so that it's nice and even all the way across. So we've got that on there looks good. Yeah, so when you're smoothing it out, it's just a lot easier having that piece of cardboard under there because if you don't have that cardboard, then your hand's going to sink down into the opening where the hoop is. That's why I like that. All right, then I go ahead and get my piece of topper, my eight inch topper, put that on there. And this is also called Salvi. Uh, I had a question after I made that video and it was about what brand of topper is this. The brand that I buy is actually called Savi. I didn't remember that before. And now I take my top hoop and I line it up on this guy and here's what's really nice. It just snaps right into place. I don't even have to figure out where to drop it. It's in the right location. Then, the second thing I wanted to tell you that I forgot about before is that when I'm using the marking pen, usually what I do is I take my ruler and measure one and a half inches down after I have the topper on. Before, I told you to do it on the beanie itself before we even put the topper on it. So what I usually do is mark it after I've got that topper on there. And the reason I do that is because it's going directly on the topper instead of directly on the beanie. And I like that better because if my design doesn't cover up that center mark, then I don't have to worry about getting it out of the fibers of the beanie because it's on the topper, not on the beanie. So those are the two tips I wanted to share with you. Also, one bonus thing. <laughs> I'm only marking that center line for my vertical center. I'm going to use my Baradin embroidery machine to mark my horizontal center. I'm going to put the hoop on there and set it for, I think it's the 15 centimeter Baradin hoop. And then I go ahead and press to center it. And once I've done that, I will have my horizontal center and I'll just adjust vertically to line up with the mark that I've made on the beanie. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope that additional information has been helpful and thanks again for spending some time with me.